You can tell them. Okay, so <laughs> first thing happened, contractors, as far as we know, were doing some wiring work or had to shut down uh, a circuit. And as soon as they did that, it like hard, it hard killed our, um, our fiber modem. And the fiber modem, we could not get it to come back on. So we tried all kinds of different things. We tried different outlets, different cables, uh, different APC stuff. Tried in known good outlets, yeah. right? Right, like, like five, so, seven I tried times, it in at least three different times. known good outlets, yeah. and then Tim comes down and he, and, he and presses the power button and on the immediately ABC comes anymore. on and lights up. It's just a theory. We think that there is a RAM in there that, um, whenever it's plugged in, if it's corrupted or something, it will not even light up. And so, if you unplug it for like three minutes, mm -hmm. I've never heard it, anything it run, like it that. Lights. But it might be. I don't. Un I don't understand it. Or is something. And so you look at it right now. It's got two green lights, which means we're back online. But the only problem is that when this was down, we took the opportunity to actually upgrade the firmware on our piece of network equipment. And uh, once that happened, it completely locks us out. So we have a theory on why that is. We use very strong passwords around here. And we think that the firmware update has a problem with our uh, password security protocols. And so at the moment, we're just resetting stuff because the firmware update itself knocked us down. And so at the moment, we're like in limp mode. I think their firmware is completely botched. And I've been waiting months to upgrade it. I usually only do this on like late night after a show on Friday because if it's down, I don't want to impact business operations. And this time I just waited two months and like. Once upon until, a time, Cisco was the, that's a mistake. Was the, the gold standard. Yeah, fix one mistake. I mean, fix one problem, and then worry about firmware upgrades. <laughs> like you never want to do it on the same day. It's it's hell. Okay, so the short password. And we're gonna look at that. It does not accept long ones anymore. <laughs> they they shortened their. Uh, your tables or what, however it's stored. And, and so you have that's the, insane. The right, so now, CS, now we have the right? static IP. We have to reset that. All right. So check connection. Um, um, that should all work. Static. Yes. Okay. So now we pull up that. Fi oh, that's my. Pardon my phone. That's the other uh, laptop. Okay. Need another laptop? I guess since he has it un under control, I'm gonna go figure out what's up with the power outage upstairs. We're back up in terms of um, anything that has a hardwire connection to the switch. So five milliseconds, that's good. All right, so we're back online, at least for this port. Now we're gonna check uh, Tim's area because he has like a special junction box. It's a little different. Um, and then if that's up, at this point we can resume normal work. And the Wi-Fi is next on the list, believe me. So if you think about concentric circles or whatever, you have one circle here and another circle here. As long as you're in the middle where there's overlap, like the Venn diagram, you'd think you'd have internet. But that's not how these things work. In these things, the one circle has to cross over the center point of the other circle. Otherwise, the routers go offline, even though they have a hardware connection, and they don't seem to understand that. It's like they think they need to be meshed wirelessly to work which is not how like roaming is supposed to work. These were considered pretty good, expensive uh, routers. You know, you're not in here. And at this point, we've got um, gigabit network in almost every room of the house. Except for that one. We're gonna work on that. Come on. His eyes are bigger than his stomach. If you give him a whole thing of food, he like will eat a quarter of it. If you give him half, he'll eat almost 90% of that half. Tonight, we should test the failover so, after the show. You make sure it's actually failing over to cable. You want to do that tomorrow? To after 12, well, I, I can do it myself, but. Do it this weekend? Yeah, actually, let's do it here when you're here. Yeah, yeah. like Saturday. Let's do it this weekend. That works, that okay. works, yeah. And that will just make sure that if for any reason we're ever kicked off the fiber during a live show, which has happened, it should have no more than like two to 10 seconds downtime and yeah. fail over. In fact, it should be quicker than that. It should fail over on this thing is, it should be like, it should be like half a second 
to detect the link out and start the same package. Well, this, this one takes about 10 yeah. seconds to fail over. But then you have the situation of, does YouTube understand um, you know, bonded and failover connections? Our daily cup of chaos for the morning. It's a nightmare. <laughs> close to things that are <laughs> there. Oh! <laughs> this isn't a game. Let go. Whoa! Did you hear that? He hissed. Maybe, uh, maybe this will teach him to come prowling around. version of Brett. Oh! This is an EF4 tornado. I don't know what that is. Yeah. You're no authority we, on cool, so... Should we warn him then? Warn him about what? Nah. What's gonna happen? Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's gonna... disgusting. You're disgusting. Oh, I mean, that goes without that saying, but that's too disgusting too. Yeah. To what like is that? Well, she said, no, 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 it's okay. She said there's no ranch. <laughs> Barbecue sauce on pizza. Well, it's fine. Is there's no ranch. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, obviously, no ranch. What kind of pizza is that? Cauliflower. Oh. I, I have a strong urge to like just normal, do that again. It's normal, and now that he's, like, a I mean, even if you crushed it, it wouldn't make it any yeah. better. It already is that. Don't touch me. We've been talking. I think I have to try one of these old 690 blondes. Those are good. Lots of coconuts. Coconuts. I don't know though. Liquid bread. Yeah. Those things have beer. Those things have beer. You do? Yeah, you're right. You look at the nutrition label. I just assumed that you bought carbless. They're low cost. It's just keto friendly. Keto friendly doesn't mean keto. It's like a clever marsha. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it says two grams of sugar. Not as funny as one gram of carbohydrates. I'm not really worried about it. The last one is damn tasty. So getting the keto and she's like, oh, it's only one cup of coffee. So you, you, this should be, should it is monk fruit sweetened, but there is some sugar in it. It might just be the erythritol. But either way, yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, like you could drink two of those in a day and not break keto. If you, know? you don't eat any other carbs. Yep. Yeah. Do you drink it all? 
Do you want oh, fancy you scotches or anything? I can save it for on air. Like, well, we got. Like, we, save we, it for on air. No, no, I mean save the stories for on air. Yeah. Like you can ask me on air if I drink, and I can tell you yes. And then some of the reasoning behind why I'm homeschooling is because I like to drink. <laughs> Interesting. I like that. So, I like your it's, thinking. That's called a tease. <laughs> the fanciest stuff is upstairs. Oh, We've I, got don't really need, I don't need fancy. We have like every kind. Oh no, we have good. I mean, you want cherry cola chicken cock? Oh, well, how I would that? try that. That sounds good. What in the? No, right? It you want to try it? Delightful. I don't think it sounds. We have a bunch. Cola of flavored whiskey. No, we got thank more you. No. It didn't sound very no, fancy. It sounds. How about the last white of the girl? Girl. Yeah. Whatever. Nobody. Thank you. Thank These glasses right here. Yeah, because I know I'm so admiring these. Yep. Yep. Use my massive yeah. makeup bag. Um, there you go. There's a little bit left. I don't know if there's enough. Put mm. a gun in your head. Yeah, I offered. Really small for the two What's uh, We've got some really good stuff upstairs, so bring your glass with you and, when we go. And I'm, not, and I'm not driving, so. Yeah, yeah you're free. Oh, there's nothing in there. Anyway. Mom's that no, out. Just, just <laughs> one finger. To... Yep. <laughs> you're not a wine mom? What the whistle? A thick glass bottle. Yeah, yeah it is. so I used to be a wine mom. Until Keep it for a moment, COVID, you know. and then I became like a whiskey what? bourbon mom. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I need something stronger. Like, oh yeah, the Malort. We have Malort, don't we? Like Mad Men. That's my hilarious. like go-to cocktail at nah. home, though, like because we host a lot, is I like yeah, to make Malort. like a Boulevard. I mean, we're not, but so I'm not going to make a drink Malort. It's <laughs> equal parts like rye, vermouth, and uh, Campari. We have Everclear. Yeah, it's good. Oh, God. 189 proof. Yeah. Yeah. This extremely <laughs> alcohol-heavy drink is not very keto. Yeah. <laughs> well, alcohol is keto. Alcohol itself, no alcohol is sugar. Turns into sugar. Well, some, but some alcohols have higher sugar, right? Exactly. Than other. Yeah. Isn't yeah. It, yeah. Beer is just liquid sugar. That's true. Beer is just like straight bread. carbs. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Bread. That's a good choice. Well, it's called a beer gut, that not a hard liquor gut. Excellent invention, though. Hard liquor oh, yeah. awesome. The beer? creation of beer? Yes. Yeah. Safely storing and sterilizing. Really thank women for that. Hmm? Why? They were the original, they were Brewsters. That's really? where Brewsters come from. My goal is to have like a beer shop one day, oh. like beer and burgers, and it's like mm-hmm. all chicks. Yes, and yes. it's Let's called go. Roosters. That's amazing. Because it's like, you have a not do that in California. Beer. Suing for oh, yeah. discrimination. I mean, I'm not talking Hooters, guys. <laughs> like, no, it no, would be tasteful, no, okay? No, I just had another thing to do in here. I guess we'll just use this one for now. Oh, there's some. There's, okay, let's go wrap Secret Santa gift. Technically, I've only got one gift so far because I ordered two things for. Uh, the gift, and one of them arrived right away for Amazon, and the second one had a delivery date of Friday, which is when the Secret Santa actual thing is. Like, so it'll probably show up in the morning. Like, here we turn the light on. Probably turn the light on. Um, so we'll see if we can wrap this. I don't really know how to wrap presents though. Right? Seems fairly right. And if it's wrong, it's the thought that counts. That's what I was told. I'll just have to make another one for the second uh, book when it comes. Of course, I could have taken the cheap or the, the easier route and like just gotten like a bag. But you know, that's stupid. I'm not going to do that. Christmas was something that was quite a, 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 like a big thing in our house. We didn't have a lot of money, but like I had one of the things that I regretted giving away or getting rid of like when I moved out here was we had a lot of like custom um, ornaments that my family made that I don't have anymore. And that's kind of a bummer. But see, look, it's actually wrapped. And it doesn't actually look awful. We'll take it. I'll make a card later. <laughs> 